on to the next case study home loan let us understand this case study putin borrowed 300000 as a 20 year loan 20 year home loan repayable in emis at the start the loan was charged a floating rate of 10.25% this loan is has a floating rate interest rate so during the period during the start it was 10.25% after 6 months the floating rate increased to 10.75% before going into the questions let's find out what is the emi what is the emi for this loan how much is the emi for original loan so this is similar to the car case study we saw so present value is 300000 right and n per the number of periods is 20 years into 240 years 20 is an year he has to repay it in monthly installments so 20 into sorry 20 into 12 12 months per year which is equal to 240 the rate of interest charged the interest rate equal to 10.25 percent which is yearly interest rate so i have to convert this into monthly interest rate by dividing it by 12 so these are the initial data available we have to find out emi which will be given by PMT function. So let us find out what is the original EMI. Original EMI is equal to PMT open bracket rate is 10.25 percent divided by 12 n per equal to 20 years into 12 present value is equal to 300,000 sorry 300,000 future value we don't know type is it will be repaid at the end of the period so we will put 0 so for a 300,000 loan which will be repaid in 20 years of time 20 years of monthly installment rate of interest is 10.25% he has to repay 2944.93 per month so the original emi is 2944.93 now let's come back to the case study after 6 months the floating rate increased to 10.75% the floating rate now increased however he has already paid for 6 months these are the two important points he has already paid for 6 months the floating rate increased to 10.75% if Putin decides the remaining installment constant, that is if he wants to keep the number of period constant, that is out of 240, he has paid 60. So there are total installment, total installment over 20 years is 240, right? Out of that he has paid 60. So it decides to keep the remaining installment at 234. If this is the case, what is the new EMI? right the second part of the question is if putin decides to keep his emi constant now instead of obviously when interest rate go up emi can go up either one of this should go up or either emi should go up or the number of payment period should go up now in the second case he wants to keep this emi as constant at 2944 if he keeps this constant what is the new n per the number of periods what is the new, new remaining n per right so these are the two questions that we need to find answer for remember out of he has paid 2944 into 6 installment amongst this 2944 part will be principal part will be principal and part will be interest so how much went into principal and how much went into interest is something that we have to find. Only after finding that we will be able to calculate answer these two queries. So let's try and do that. Right. So let's start with 
building a small schedule of payments. So starting, we have six months of loan repaid. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? What is the total EMI? What is the principal component of the EMI? And what is the interest component of the EMI? The total EMI is something that we know which can be calculated by a function called PMT, right? So which will be given by 10.25% divided by 12. Number of period is 20 into 12. Present value is 300,000. Type is at the end of the period which is 0. So we get 2944. Now out of this 2944, how much went into principal? How much went into interest? That is a question we have in front of us. This is also given by a very simple function which is called PPMT. So now earlier we discussed PMT means payment. PMT means payment. PPMT means principal payment. So to find out principal component of this payment we have to use a function called PPMT which is principal payment. Similarly, to find out interest component of this payment, you have to use IPMT, which is interest payment. So this is very intuitive and English-like to use the function. PPMT is principal payment and IPMT is interest payment. So let's try and calculate this. So equal to PPMT, open the window, rate rate is 10.25 percent period is for which month you are paying installment now we are calculating this EMI for the first month right so I am linking it to the number one meaning the principal payment is for the first month number of period is 20 into 12 which is 240 present value is 300,000 Future value I don't know. Now type is 0. So first month the principal component is almost 0. Let's calculate IPMT. Okay, so here we have not decided 10.25% divided by 12. Yes, it has 10.25% is an annual interest. So I divided it by 12. So out of this 2944, 382 was paid as a principal. The remaining is interest. Either you can subtract it or you can find it using IPMT function. Again IPMT, the rate function is 10.25% divided by 12. Number of period is 20 into 12. Sorry, the current period for which month you are paying EMI. I am paying it for the first month. Number of period is 20 into 12. Present value is 300,000. Future value is something I don't know. Type is end of the period. So I put 0 equal to. So out of 2944 I paid 382 was for principal and 2562 was for interest. So if you add this 382 plus 2562 you will get 2944 which is the EMI payment. So now you can drag this. If you drag this for the first six months, every month the total will be 2944. That is your EMI, which is constant. Whereas your principal will keep on increasing as the month go on. And the interest will keep on decreasing. So at the end of six months, at the end of sixth month, At the end of sixth month, principal repaid is 2344. Right? So principal outstanding, principal outstanding still would be 300,000. That is the original loan, 300,000 minus the money that I have already repaid. So which is 297665655. So that is the principal outstanding. Now what is the 
now let's go back to the question if putin decides the remaining installment keep the remaining installment constant what would be his new emi meaning the original installment were 240 now he has paid 6 so the remaining installment is 234 if 234 is the remaining installment and 297656 is the principal and interest rate new interest rate if you remember is 10.75 percent then what is the EMI now EMI will be given by PMT the new interest rate is 10.75 percent by 12 N per is 234 present value is 297,656 type is 0 so if you have, if you have to complete the loan in remaining 234 months if you were to complete the loan in remaining 234 months he has to increase his EMI to 3044 from 2944 he has to pay 100 rupees extra per month if he wants to complete the loan in the stipulated time even after increasing the interest rate by 50 basis points the other question we have is if he decides to reduce the if he decides to keep the EMI constant that is if he wants to keep the EMI at 2944 that is if EMI is 2944 or we link it here and principal is this then what should be his N per the question is what should be his N per now we'll use the N per function the rate is 10.75 percent by 12 payment is we know 2944 present value of the loan is the principal new principal that we have calculated and type is 0 so which means he has to repay it for 264 months he has to repay for another 264 months he has already paid 6 months now from now on if he doesn't want to increase the EMI he has to repay for 264 months because originally only 234 months were remaining now with the increased interest rate he has to pay for 30 extra months fine so this is how you have to evaluate